This is not my first visit to this lab, the Wayne County Department of Public Services lab. I visited back in 2020 right before the pandemic, so I wanted to see what was new. I know what you must be thinking. How does Wayne County have this, a testing lab, when the roads look like this? People are going to be asking, why do you guys have this testing lab if we still have potholes all over the right. place? Right. So back in the day, what happened was the mixture that we used to use, there used to be a lot of alkali silica reaction. AKA what was used back in the day was a bad concrete mixture. And we don't use any of that material. No, right? we have replaced that with more, uh, more suitable material so that we are not seeing those reactions. And that is where this lab steps in to make sure the material that is used is up to standards. A concrete mixture of rock and other material is broken down and tested. Same with asphalt. We approve the contractor's mix design. Okay, they submit it. We say, okay, and then we check it. Testing for things like air voids. We want to make enough room for free thaw to be able to take place. So uh, when it gets cold, the water expands and it needs room to move. Okay, to move out of the road. Because right. if it doesn't, that's what breaks it. One test we saw, how much pressure a concrete mixture can withstand. Concrete is mixed and a sample cylinder is taken, put into a room filled with moisture and allowed time to strengthen. At 28 days, it's strong enough. 28 days, that's our goal. To make it strong enough in 28 days or sooner than that. This piece of concrete sat for six days. The crack is then analyzed. So looking at the stuff that Erica broke, uh, depending upon the kind of uh, angle that you see, it seems like it's type 1 break, which says reasonably well-formed cones on both ends. So this is, uh, this is a good piece of concrete. Good piece of concrete, yep. Now, in a perfect world, we could take all the concrete that's tested and found to be good and put it out on our roads and fix them. However, concrete is expensive. So while we are able to test to make sure that the roads are good, that what we're using is good to fix our roads, Alicia Keenan, it's going to take time and it's going to take money. That was fascinating, though, to watch them go through the process, all the research and time that's involved. Uh, yeah, and to actually see them crack it, just because yeah. we see cracked roads all the time, but to see <laughs> that they are cracking it to see, to really check that mix and what it can withstand. And that's just one of multiple tests that they do. So it's very interesting being in that lab. All right, thank you for that Thank insight. You.